says Ray. So I have been basically doing the complete opposite as the white people who have gotten their panties in a bunch the last few days on my page have been able to do. Me personally, unlike y'all, I don't go out of my way to find people to disagree with or to find things to upset me. I have a life going on. I have responsibilities. I have bills to pay. Um, you're not even able to look away or just to say, you know what? If she really is wrong, if she really is stupid, if she really is talking out of her ass, I'm going to leave her in denial. No biggie, because you know I'm right. The fact that I'm not saying things the way that you would prefer me to, not really your say-so, but it really freaking upsets you, and I really love that. I do. I get off to white tears. I do. I'm not going to lie. It makes me happy to put y'all in a mood, make you feel some kind of way. I love it. The thing y'all are too high and mighty and stupid and unable to research enough to actually understand, your tears and you feeling uncomfortable and feeling disrespected is not the same as systemic and systematic racism and sexism and homophobia. It's not. Has there been any laws against white people outside of marrying non-white people? No. Has there been any laws that say if white people are being served in this establishment, you cannot have a liquor license or serve customers? No, but the LGBT community had to deal with that and police brutality and the FBI boarding up their bars and starting a fire and literally cooking the people inside of the. Have y'all had to do that? Have y'all gone through that? No. Have y'all had an entire community with doctors and buses and airports and churches and all these things just terrorized and bombed on American soil by Americans because people were jealous that you were doing your own thing? No? Black folks had to. Have you had people in the military starting fights with you just because they didn't like you and then they start a riot? and rip the clothes off of you and leave you in the street bloody and naked for the cops to come pick you up and arrest you? No. Mexicans have. Have you been beaten in the streets or told that you had no say-so in your children's rights or their future and your own family, if they died, they couldn't leave money to you? You couldn't vote until even after the free slaves could? No. Women have. So forgive me for not giving a damn about you thinking, oh, you're the real racist. No, the fuck I'm not. I am simply reacting to the racism that my family has had to deal with every generation since you idiots have been here. And yes, my family was here before y'all. Fact, genetics ain't lying. For all of you people who are silly enough to say, well, you have white genetics. The majority of Africans in America have European in their blood because rape. So if, you th if you're using rape to justify a reason to silence a victim of systematic racism, you're probably not here, here, able to control your emotions or speak on actual valid facts or accuracies when it comes to history. Doesn't work that way. Saying that a mixed person can't speak up about racism when I am Native American and African and Asian more so than any other, it's kind of beating around the bush because I can literally talk about wetback laws, black codes, um, Jim Crow, voting restrictions, gun laws, anti-Asian immigration, fuck with me. But if you're just simply getting in your feelings and saying, you nigger, you're stupid, you monkey, you this and that, bitch, you ain't doing shit but proving me right, I don't give a fuck what I say. I'm speaking factual, 
easily researchable information. Oh, well, 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 you guys get the most scholarships and you get free college, you get that. No. White people get over 70% of the scholarships. Stop bullshitting. It, it's, it's ridiculous. It makes you look dumber than, well, the inbreeding is, it's really sad. It really is. And it just, I'm sitting here just laughing at y'all. You're getting in your feelings and trying to say this cunt, this bitch, this whore, this, this, that, and the other. Name calling ain't doing shit for me. You know why? Black folks, Mexicans, other Latinos, females, LGBT, they actually go through real life struggles. White people, y'all kill yourself whenever the stock market crashes or whenever your mom doesn't let you go to your friend's house and you decide to go on a mass shooting spree or you don't have friends at school and do the same. The less you deal with, the less mentally you can deal with. I deal with plenty in my life, I always have. So your words ain't gonna do nothing for me. Fuck with me when you got research. Now, I'm not talking about a blog that someone's writing, I'm talking about actual, factual evidence. But you can't. And it upsets you and it makes you sad and it makes you even more mad. So you just come and nigga, 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 nigga. I don't give a fuck. Call me a nigger. Call me a spick. Call me a wet bag. Call me a spigger. Call me a cunt. Call me a hoe. Call me a bitch. Don't give a fuck. Keep it coming. I don't mind. Just do yourself a favor. Do everybody a favor. And research what I'm talking about. That's it. We wouldn't have the Sylvia Rivera's and the Malcolm X's and all these other people speaking up every generation and the same idiots that you are related to claiming they're lying. You're lucky we, we freed you. You didn't free us, bitch. If I get raped and the motherfucker finishes, did he stop the rape? <laughs> y'all are, man, y'all are stupid. Dumb as fuck, really. You as dumb as you are, ugly. And oh, speaking of ugly, there's not a motherfucker in this world that could ever convince me that I'm ugly or stupid. <laughs> it's a motherfucking lie.